Welcome back to Rational Table Tennis Analysis. In this video, we'll focus on the four very effective training methods to improve your technique. It is very important to train with a purpose in table tennis, that you actually focus on developing a skill when you train. There are players who are very committed, playing table tennis four to five times a week, but don't seem to improve that much. There's no point turning up to training when you're just hitting forehand to forehand for half an hour without any purpose. Therefore, to improve your technique, you have to train purposefully and effectively. Here are the four training methods to do so. The first method is multiple. It is the most important and efficient way to improve your technique. It increases the quantity of balls you receive in a short period of time. You can get your feeling and adjust your technique quickly based on your previous shot. It is great for trying new things as it removes the fear of missing the table. This helps increase your confidence and you'll feel more encouraged and motivated to improve on your technique. You don't need a coach to feed your multiples. Simply ask your practice partner to try it out. Everything comes with practice, so the more you do it, the better you become at feeding. The second method is to do regular training drills. These are exercises where you know where the ball is going. If you don't need to worry about where the ball is going, you can simply focus on the technique. Let's take learning the backhand loop as an example. If I know the amount of spin on each ball, I can really focus on the mechanics of the shot, the backswing, weight shift, the swing trajectory, the wrist snap. I don't have to worry about footwork watching the opponent and trying to win a point. I can just focus on the execution. This makes life much easier to learn or to develop a new technique. Another example, if you want to improve your footwork, you can do two backhands and two forehands. At first, you should only do drives, which allow you to focus on your footwork. As you start to manage your footwork well, you can still do the same exercise, but add more topspin in shots Regular drills are vital for developing technique, but you don't want to spend all your time doing these types of drills. You also need other training methods. The third method is to do irregular training drills. These are drills with some element of randomness. You don't always know where the ball is going to go. Let's say you want to improve your forehand technique. A classic exercise would be middle, backhand or forehand then middle, backhand or forehand again. For all middle shots, you are only allowed to play with your forehand. In this exercise, a default position would be preparing for the forehand shot. However, you also have to be aware of the backhand as well, because in every two shots, there's a possibility that the ball will land on your backhand. This will give you a great combination between forehand and backhand. More forehand to improve your technique, occasional backhand to make the exercise more match realistic. Irregular drills are generally harder than regular drills. You feel more pressure and tend to make more errors. The most important thing is consistency. Finally, after you think you have managed the technique, try it out with some match play. Match play includes exercises involving playing out a point. It could always involve an element of regularity. For example, to improve your backhand topspin, you and your partner can play up to 11 points, but you too can only play with your backhand and cross court. If you use your forehand or play over the middle line, you lose the point. You can also do exercises that are more flexible and free. You serve with a backspin, the next shot you topspin, then the rally is free. You play up to 11 points. This exercise improves your mindset, forcing you to attack in the third ball. When you do match play training, you develop additional areas of your game, including dealing with pressure, using serves and tactics effectively, and winning points. This is the end of the video. I hope these four training methods help you to improve your techniques and bring your game into a complete new level. If you have any other training methods to develop your game, feel free to comment below. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends. I have lots of videos coming soon, so stay tuned. Bye bye.